I like how they zooming up with the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Change that boy whole fit up. What's good? It's your boy Sheen, the head chef. What is he? And we are jumping back into the bear. Last episode, we got the Christmas party flashback. And it just kind of showed all the personalities with, within the family and how things were going. When Mikey was still here, the family was, you know, dysfunctional in a way, but I felt like they all loved each other. It was just a lot going on um, around that time, but definitely enjoyed episode six and episode five. Episode five, Carmi and Claire, you know, became a thing. And the restaurant is kind of, I won't say in shambles, but they're, they're still working on a lot deadline coming up so they definitely got to push on their end but make sure you guys click the link in the description for our patreon we are weeks ahead you guys are missing out on a lot so by the time you guys get this just know we're going to be done with the series we finished the series this week if you're hearing this now and you haven't done it yet click that link head over to the patreon to sub up we also got a link in the, in the description for our discord but without further ado let's jump back into the bear let's get it as you've been coaching over the years, what would you say are the most important uh, lessons of leadership that you've learned? The very first thing is that you know, in order to get yeah. better, you yeah. change limits. And when you change limits, you're going to look bad and you're going to fail. Or in that failure was never a destination. The other thing is that you're not going to get there alone. Surround yourself with good people and learn how to listen. When you do talk, converse. Don't make excuses. Figure out the solution. You don't have to figure it out yourself. What an interesting life it is to be a leader. Fuck you, cousin. Good God, man. Huh? This is a restaurant that he had on the side. But who had? Mikey. Forks. No, no, I'm Richard. Okay. I'm Garrett, backway staff. Your forks. Is he at like school or something? Or is he getting a new job? Chef, are we done with the forks? Yeah, chef. Almost chef. Let me ask you, have we started sharing fucking forks his whole first fucking day? First week. Chill out on the swearing too. How long please? am I supposed to be here a for? A week. You want me to fork? I'll fork. I'm gonna give cousin the satisfaction of coming home early. I can do my time standing on one foot. So let me get this straight. He's punishing you by making you work at the best restaurant in the world. Yep. He sent him to the restaurant that he used to be at. Where's the boss? Which one? Big boss. Capo. Terry. Chef Terry's always watching. This is going to get him, get his act together, though. Because they about to, they're about to be on his ass for everything he does. I saw that every second counts. I'm like, what's going on, my boy? Because that was in, what was his name? Luca's restaurant, too? Wherever Marcus is at right now. But that boy just cleaning forks. That's going to test his patience, too. Make him be happy and grateful for what he was doing at the shop. A week of that. He doing it, though. It's rising like a discotheque. Dude. It's looking. Looking beautiful in there. Shit come together though, my bag. Boy, fucking this song up. I was about to say, this shit ain't gonna go hard. This to the playlist. Damn. He will come back to the restaurant completely different. Yeah, ready to work. Hopefully, you see how he's starting to stack the forks? We're buying in. What was the stack of drawings? That's what I thought. They showed it all lined up. Garrett, I've been doing this forever. Can I wash the dishes or something? No, we got the best dishwashers in the world. You're just going to slow them down. I'm telling you, that's not clean. That was not clean either. Please do them properly. Yo, or they're goddamn forks. Outside. You gonna see how important everything is. Do you think is. This is below you or something? Man, I think I'm 45 years old polishing forks. For the best restaurant. 
Nice try. You think I don't know how hard it is hiring people since COVID? We don't have that problem. Why? Because I love this, Richie. Did you know that when this restaurant opened 12 years ago, it won the best restaurant in the world the same year? It's retained Damn. three stars because we have a waiting list that's long. 5,000 people waiting at any given moment long. It takes 200 people to keep this place in orbit. And at any given moment, one of those people that is waiting in line gets to eat here. They get to spend their time and their money here. I'm sorry, bro, but we need to have some forks without streaks in them. I just need you to respect me. I need you to respect the staff. I need you to respect the diners. And I need you to respect yourself. And this is what Carmi been trying to tell him the whole yeah. time. Just like that. He back to work. He ain't got a fucking love this shit and want to do this shit, but you going for Spanish. On 29 at 715, we have Tim and Jill Perry. And according to Jill's Instagram, it's always been her dream to dine at a three-star restaurant, and they have been, quote, saving up for this. I made this Damn. shit count. I made this shit count. They studying up on the customers. And guys, we're not going to let these people spend a dollar. Do not drop a check. I want to blow their fucking minds. I want to clarify that it's not so much the smudge, but rather the fact that no one is taking responsibility for the smudge. Damn, not everybody's about to get it. Smudge things, but we need to own up to them with immediacy, integrity, and honesty. Does anyone want to talk any more about the smudge? And nobody ran them out either. I am aware that I've had to say the word fucking smudge 20 times in the last two days, but we had to reset the plate with the smudge because persimmon glaze was smudged, which cost us 45 seconds. 47 seconds. 47 seconds. Now, if you cost us that kind of time, you sure shit better own up to it. Now, get back to work. Fuck you, Garrett. Yes, chef. Fuck me. Just like that. Like, <laughs> nah, that's the culture you need. See why that boy Carmi act the way he act, boy. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Is Eve okay? No, she's great. She's totally great. I got those Taylor Swift ticks. You did? That's incredible. Actually, I got three if you want to come. You know, you don't have to. No, no, no. It's I. I. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, I know you're really busy, so I wanted to just tell you something. Um, and it's a little bit hard to say. I hope it's not his mom. Frank proposed to me. Oh. What'd you say? Yeah, boy. I said yes. I, and I want you to know that nothing's gonna change between us. That's awesome. Hand the fucking you. phone up, man. Like, fuck out of here. I'm gonna hear that. You say yeah. Damn. You don't love me, man. You don't love me doing that. Dude. Nah, that just hurt, though, because he knows it's no, go it's no point in return at that point. You know, chances. It's over. It's time to move on. She don't want to come back to that boy when that boy level up again, man. See about the rock, man. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know, no check tonight. Thank you so much for dining with us. Yes. You see boy's face? They probably spent their bag in there, too. Bro. But this just made... They, going they just back? can't afford it. Next time they go back, they're going to drop that big check. Bro, with all the uh, people they about to tell, like, yeah, we went there, and for some reason, they just didn't let us pay. This is day seven. We got a little bit more pep in the step. Yeah. I think that was uh, some relief off We all do that shit. That shit funny. What rolled his sleeves up today? They gave him the... Trail today. Get changed. No more forks? No more forks. I like how they zooming up with the camera. Oh, yeah. ah, change that boy whole fit up. Start with tables 10, 20, this gotta be a 30, dream. 40, so forth. Ah, Stagger the reservation by 15 minutes, but do not stack the kitchen. This is our hamachi. You can see that it's frozen in liquid nitrogen and curled, served on our basil gel. They move on like move criminals out this joint. Damn. That table is assholes, he said. Chef, what are all these different colors mean? Orange is a dietary restriction, yellow is out of town, green is a VIP, and blue means kitchen tour. Table 15 likes to eat faster, so we speed up their tickets. 23 likes it slower, so we add an extra moves not to back up the kitchen. We have a designated staff member that researches each guest. Yeah, wiretap those motherfuckers. Wait list. Minute somebody no shows or cancels, we pull some. Time to get here that fast. Mm. Oh, we'll send a car. What the fuck? They're gonna scoop you for the eats? 24, walking in five. Yeah. Two, tasting a moves on deck. Get them out fast, please. Thank you. 
They never gonna fire her. They can't fire that girl. But this is also showing him at like how smooth shit was and laid back it was at the other restaurant. Every night you make somebody's day. Hmm? You ask me how I can do this, and that's how I can do this. No cop, they leave that joint like, yo, this is the best experience. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. That boy wanna take that joint to the bear. It's about to get stupid. They're gonna they're gonna challenge this restaurant. Hold 18. But this is also showing us us as the viewers how they be in the back, bro. Yeah. Should be hectic. Shorty on a fucking time clock. Nah. Every second count. See that boy feet. <laughs> we have the hibiscus tea surrounded by a series of small bites, and to finish it off, the hibiscus cloud. How do we eat it? It's my favorite part. It's gonna dissolve. Oh. oh! Ew. Language. Took the words right out of my mouth. Enjoy. That boy was like, that was beautiful. I'm about to sit down at the table real quick. And in a note. Let me get back to it. <laughs> that boy Richie locked there right now. Max? Chef. Go. Guest on nine, Emily overheard her tell her family that she was bummed that she was leaving Chicago without getting a chance to try deep dish. Got it. Thank you. Prize on nine? What's the surprise? Deep Take dish. You're gonna make him deep dish. Nope. You are. Oh no, that ain't about to make that. He got hey, you ready to right? Pick up for Richard. Corner. Corner. That boy ran to go get behind, the behind, <laughs> Why are you slamming the pizza like that? She probably fucked it up. Walk four, wag you to 21. P2 it's is no burn. Theory. Pick up canopy for two. Into four more canopy. About to fix That's it. six you're going on two by four. Yeah. Faster, please. Fire. I'm looking for a back on 42. Yeah. The shit was burnt. Nah, but he made, they're making their own dish out of what? Yeah, I know, but I'm saying it was still burnt though. Please. But it's gonna make it look like they did that in the back. They finessing at the restaurant. Nah, bro. Pick up wet you, please. But he locked in though. <laughs> he loving this shit. Now take Chef, it out. Can I bring it to the table? No, he's gonna fucking drop it. Go get him, Richie. Thank you, Chef. This is all he need though. He felt, Richie, don't fuck it up. He feel like he he's a part of it though. I got a bad feeling. Look alive, team. <clears throat> Almost there. Just another seven courses. <laughs> what if it's the wrong table? Nah, he got it. But I couldn't live with myself if I let this beautiful family leave Chicago without sampling one of my personal favorite dishes, Pequod's deep dish. Oh, no. God, you all are wonderful. No, stop it. You're wonderful. <laughs> you guys good on drinks? I can't I believe Good. The old fashioned's not gonna drink itself. You guys want some Bacardi and Diet? Little B and D. Should I send some over? Enjoy, guys. He a natural though. He did say that. Three seconds. Uh, apple cider gets streak. Apple cider gets streak. That's my freaking boy right there. All right, let's go. Another one. It's good to see this side of that boy. Yeah, yeah, like he really about to come back to the bear, a totally different person. Yeah, sure is. That boy Carmi knew what he was doing. Uh, what year did the restaurant open? 2012. Yes, and what year did we get our third star? 2012. 2012. Same year. Come on, right. dummy. We have specials. We don't have specials. We do have our have supplements, including tonight's caviar pairing. Oh, your ass! <laughs> the boy with the head chef in there. Nah, I'm happy to see him like that. Boy was stressing this whole time. You see that boy cheesing and shit like that. The boy speeding. Yo, he got the good news and he got the worst news. The shorty moving on and shit. I hope everything just continue to go good. Cause you know when things start going too good, you get some bad news. Fuck off, Garrett. How old are you? I'm 30, dude. 30. And you're like a chef? And why you work at a restaurant? A couple years ago I had a drinking problem. I'm good now, you know, like I feel healthy and I'm happy and I'm grateful. And through that experience, I learned about acts of service. I just like being able to serve other people now. That's tough. Shout out to that boy on being sober, man. Taking care of people at the highest level was like working at a hospital. I'm just saying, I think that's why restaurants and hospitals use the same word. 
hospitality. Damn. Got that boy thinking. Got me thinking. I wanted to say thanks for a fun week, man. It was dope. Thank you, my man. It was fun. You know, we have a new stash coming tomorrow morning, and um, I think we're all really going to miss you here. Fuck, man. I'm I just know. getting the hang of it. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We have one more shift tomorrow, but yeah. If something opens up, you know. Richie, that'd be awesome, but you know it's not my call. That boy's ready to lead a bear or beef. I got another job anyway. I am needed elsewhere. Thanks, bro. You gotta make this place, you gotta make that place your happy place. Like, don't go to the bear and be back on your bullshit. Different people, different scenery, different everything. Had that boy moving different. Yo, cousin, what's up? We failed the fire suppression test. Another one, dude? Yeah, yeah, another one. We have one more shot. How bad is it if we fail that one? It's fucking bad. Fucking ah! shit! God damn it! Just calling to tell you I'm done. Yes, yes, no, that's right. How'd that go? Bro, you were going to fuck yourself. Yo, I know you sent me there to get rid of me. I was annoying you, and you wanted me out of your hair. Cousin, no, 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 no. I, I, I sent you there. You sent me there to fucking humiliate me, you fucking jack-off. Make me look like a fucking jack-off. Stop it! Just stop! stop. Yeah, I'll talk Take to you later. I actually think I hurt myself. Damn. Back on his bullshit. Why don't you just ask him why you sent me there instead of assuming? Like, I sent you there because I knew, I know you could do it. Like, I knew you could work there. And find your place. How about woke up late? He woke up an hour late. He's supposed to have one more shift. Unless he's leaving, but he said we got one more shift. Yeah, I think he just like. Hey, I'm about to go over staff reviews. You want to observe? Oh, uh, thanks. I gotta finish this last band. We loved having you here. Thanks for everything. Thanks, shift Jess. We don't want to leave, man. Whoa! We'll get her. That double look. Dan and oh. Luca. <laughs> Chill out. The boy said, I'm trying to get my face up there. Nah, man, that, that, that was just a reminder. Like, bro, when you go back to the bear, where the polishes, the know where Carmi came cool. from. Yeah. Try that drawer over there. What are you making? I'm just peeling mushrooms for the lamb de tournette. It's just a nice little fun detail. So when the diners see it, they know that someone spent a lot of time on their dish. See? Everybody's role is important, bro. 1300, huh? Yeah. Do you serve? Dad did. Staff sergeant. Corporal. A lot of standards. Yeah. Turns out I like standards. You don't even know what 1300 is. The time is 1300. I know Carmen. Yeah, I know. She said I know Carmen. I'm sorry that he pulled a favor. Not at all. I don't do favors. Can I do another one? Yes, please do. Oh, that's Chef Terry. That's one of the, uh, remember he was like, which world boss you want to talk to? Yeah, she's she's Terry. Is. She's always watching. Chef, no, Chef man, Terry's like, always you know, watching. Stodges that do this shit? Yeah, well, I, I like starting the day with this. I tried to open a giant place years ago. I had all these accolades. I was younger. I was on fire. I was arrogant. I tried to move too fast. Couldn't keep the place open and the market crashed and I got killed. So how this place happened? My 38th birthday, mm -hmm. I was out walking all night, unemployed, blaming everybody else for all the time I'd lost and the money I'd lost. And I just stood there and stared, and the, eventually the sun came up, and it turns out I was right there. And then I walked round to the front, I saw the sign. It was an actual sign. It was a restaurant mm -hmm. for lease sign. I saw the sign and the sign. Never too late kind of thing. Yeah, never too late to start over. Damn. Um, well, my dad had died the summer before, an only child. My mum sold the house and put it in here. Oh, family business. Yeah. My best friend's mom was, was like my mom. Yeah. Damn. It's funny, I learned the most about him when I was packing up his house. A stash of pocket notebooks that he must have taken with him when he was on tour. Don't forget this moment or don't forget this interesting, strange detail. Hundreds of these entries. And he'd, he'd sign each one off the same way every time. Chef? Yes, Chef. Arno upstairs. Oh, thank you, Chef. Don't be a stranger, Richie. He believes in you, you know. <laughs> what makes you say that? He told, he told me. He said you're good with people. He's not wrong. Damn. You acted like a fucking asshole. Uh, you, you never said what he signed off with. What's your dad? 
because they had like a similar like background story and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now he gonna be on board trying to get that three star boy. Every second counts. They gotta put that shit up in the bear, man. Every second does count. We got Taylor Swift one. He got Taylor Swift playing when he got tickets to go see Taylor Swift. Ah, stop playing, dummy. That was a great episode. Good job, man. Go on to the next one. Y'all get that recap in next week's video. YouTube, pitch on you already know what the fight they am, but.